Welcome to learn English with Child Vivi, an easy and fast way to learn spoken and written English, a lesson for all level learners. Today's lesson episode 30, Titanic 2. In this episode, I've given you some realistic dialogues between Jack and Rose from the movie Titanic, and also equip it with captions for you to understand better. Please enjoy your learning. Philadelphia society will be there and all the while I feel I'm standing in the middle of a crowded room screaming at the top of my lungs and no one even looks up the girl Ruth he is talking about her wedding she says that they have already distributed 500 invitation card for guests to attend her wedding party and all the upper class or rich people from Philadelphia society will attend the party, but she is not happy with this relationship because she says, all the while, I feel like I'm standing in the middle of the crowded room screaming at the top of my lungs and no one even looks up. Do you love him? Pardon me? Do you love him? You're being very rude. You shouldn't be asking me this. Well, it's a simple question. Do you love the guy or not? The boy, Jack, wants to know if she loves her fiancé, but she's surprised with this question and says, Pardon me? This pardon me is a formal way to ask someone to repeat his or her statement. So Jack repeats it. Do you love him? The informal way to excuse me, I'm sorry, or say it again. But Rose finds Jack rude to ask that question. Conversation. Why can't you just answer the question? <laughs> Rose feels that it's not a pretty nice and good thing to talk about that. But Jack wants to know if she loves the guy or not. This is absurd. You don't know me and I don't know you and we are not having this conversation at all. Rose says that it's unreasonable to talk about that because they don't know each other. And presumptuous, and I am leaving now. Jack, Mr. Dawson, it's been a pleasure. I sought you out to thank you, and now I have thanked you. And you've insulted me. Well, you deserved it. Right. Right. But Jack insisted her to tell if she loved her fiancé. Then Rhodes said that Jack is not showing her the respect, and his behavior is not cultured and too bold towards her. So she wants to go away from there. She says, I shot you out of thank you, and now I have thank you. But Jack feels she also insulted him. And Rose said, you deserve it. I thought you were leaving. I am. You are so annoying. <laughs> they shake hands and say, right, right. Then Jack reminds her that she is about to go. She goes, saying, Yes, I am. But turns and comments on Jack that he is so Wait, annoying. I don't have to leave. This is my part of the ship. You leave. Oh, ho, ho. well, well, well. Now who's being rude? <sighs> what is this stupid thing you're carrying around? She comes back feeling that she should not leave that place because uh, that's the part of her ship. She asks Jack to leave from there. Then Jack asks, ho ho ho, wall, 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 who is being rude now? Then avoiding her question, she asks him, what's the stupid thing he is carrying with him? Word or phrases of the day, 500 invitation have gone out means they have already distributed 500 invitation card of a wedding for the guests to attend the wedding party. Philadelphia Society, rich or upper class people, is screaming at the top of my lungs, means is screaming loudly or trying to say that she is not happy with that. Pardon me is a formal way to ask someone to repeat his or her statement. The informal way or excuse me, I'm sorry, or say it again. Rude, impolite, or not showing respect. Suitable, conversation, 
right up, absurd, unreasonable, uncouth, not cultural behavior of a person, presumptuous, too bold behavior of a person. Shock is the past form of a say, which means look for. You have even insulted me, means you also hurt my feelings or dignity. You deserve it, means you have the quality or this quality to get it. You are so annoying, means you are so irritating. Now who is being rude, means now who is not showing the respect. The stupid things, means silly or foolish things. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, queries or suggestions, please feel free to post them. And if you like it, please subscribe.